so we have gone to thailand for this as well i'll be having a, a proper press conference on the 25th where we can talk at length about these sharing of experiences i have a feeling that in the state of meghalaya because we've never had a council of our own so registration was not made compulsory but ever since the council has come we feel that that may be one way of ensuring that we hold on to our doctors the other problem is uh, when our seats are allocated to the state of meghalaya for mbbs say for example certain state governments actually entail a certain kind of a contractual arrangement where they have to serve in that state for some years so again bureaucratic uh, decisions need to be taken i am just focusing my attention on this reasoning as to why there are less doctors what has happened to all the doctors in the past that have been allocated seats under our quota why are they not returning back what are the do's and the don'ts so first thing is that we did not have a medical council that was the first difficult point so i hope that in the coming years we will be able to review some of these uh, details this time for example we are getting about 95 96 seats all the seats have still not come number of applications have gone up many of the the, the citizens of the state of meghalaya have done very well in the neat exam so there's going to be very stiff competition we still don't have a medical college this is something we are working on at the same time we we are at at that stage where there is a high probability that the first batch of mbbs will commence in 2025 we are hopeful about that we are doing everything the right way but in the meanwhile we need these seats and we need to depend on other states to give us the quota so we need to look at a lot of these details also and as a minister of health for the first time i'm being exposed to all of these lacunae in the system it's not possible it should be mandatory that all students who avail a medical seat from the quotas of the state of meghalaya return back to the state of meghalaya but we need to figure this out we need to sit with government of india we need to sit with various states where our students are going so different things different parameters of discussions i'm learning give us a bit of time we should be able to get behind this and we need to figure this out the other thing is that um specialists we have a problem with specialists more than mos so specialists again when they go for a specialization course they have to share a bond with the with the state that is offering the specialization seat so there are all these problems that are there we need to try and figure out what to do next and how and what do we bargain with the government of india and i'm that stage at that stage where i'm i'm learning all of this i'm getting information and whatever needs to get done we've tried to sort it out but today position is better sanctions of doctors post i'm told were not were not changed for many many decades since 1972 nurses number of nurses in 1972 sanction post was just that much whereas today our facilities have in, have have increased so we now have up to sub center levels so your system is demanding more sanction is not there so we are working on it and we are constantly having discussions with honorable chief minister finance department planning department to personal department to ensure that we increase all of these sanctions but what about the safety safety of doctors in the, in the wake of the in the week now let me tell you one thing it is a fact that a country like thailand doctors don't have to visit phcs don't have to there are no inpatients in phcs districts hospitals also no inpatients manned by the medical experts like nurses mlhps and others okay so these doctors have more freedom to actually go to a, a district facility if somebody is critically ill and needs hospitalization phcs cscs don't take them in 
they have to go to the to the to the district hospital so systems like that we need to study we need to compare we need to learn we need to see what's working there so i believe that uh, pressures of a doctor i i don't know whether that's a fact i don't know whether doctors really are overworked because we know that uh, no we i'm mentioning about safety what do you mean West by Bang, safety? West Bengal incident. The, West Bengal incident. the safety of the doctors, especially uh, since there are less number of doctors, they have to do overtime work. So, safety. Again, this overtime work is what I'm debating with you. I, I don't know whether it's really there. But I, to my knowledge, uh, it may not be so. This is for the first time somebody is asking me this. But whether or not they're overworked is something else. I don't know. I will have to study that also. Their safety in institutions, I don't see any problem there. So I don't know. I mean, are we prepared in case any such event happens? This is something we need to, again, learn from the incident that happened in West Bengal. And we have to make sure that safety of our doctors is also adequate. So most of our hospitals, most of our inpatient institutes all have good security. So maybe this is something again we'll have to focus on and discuss let me sit with the doctors association of Meghalaya. let me find out but for so many interactions that i've had with them so far this matter has not come up